Okay, Earth signs, you're up. This is just a general reading. Um, I will, like I told the other signs, try to get anything, you know, related to Mercury up, uh, Mercury retrograde up, uh, else this weekend or first thing next week. I am freezing, guys. I am so cold. Like, I, I, I'm not used to the weather being like this, so I just kind of, like, rolled out of bed and, and you're gonna get it this way while I shiver. So, <clears throat> Let's go with Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. What do you want Virgo to know? Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. What messages do we have for Virgo? I feel like this could be financial. Um, I can't see it as another... Well, okay, I'll look at it two different ways. So um, as far as something financial going, somebody may have like kind of like taken your spot at work or <clears throat> um, took more than their fair share if it's a business partner or they, um, they somehow, you know, messed with your finance. Somebody somehow messed with your finances. Just know that that's going to turn around. The karma's going to play a part to it and everything's going to work out in your favor. Um, is, if this is a romantic situation, somebody, there may have been a third party. If it's not a third party, there was a situation here um, <clears throat> where you're going to see karma play out and, and everything is going to work in your benefit. Do I think that your finances play a part to this? Yes. Maybe you're going to work harder because you're like irritated and sick of their shit. Who knows? But I do see some sort of financial gain coming your way. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. There is some sort of burden, like I said, but it ends up... This burden is like some sort of karmic thing, right? As soon as this it ends for you, when this when this situation happens and it comes to an end, only positive things are kind of going to come your way after. Okay, so um, you might be hurt, you might be insulted, you might be embarrassed, like whatever it is. Just know that this burden ends up developing into something much better, much bigger. So. Let me give an example. So, you know, maybe um, somebody steals your idea for like a book, okay? And and they're trying to m make money on it. And then you, you end up writing a different book and that book ends up becoming like this huge success. And, and it was way better than the one that you originally started. There's your example. Couldn't think of anything else. A pentacle, for some reason, is going to be, not a pentacle as in money, the pentagram, sorry, uh, is going to be relevant as well. For those of you that are single and looking, I do see a fire sign coming your way. Very romantic situation, very hot and heavy and passionate. A lot of sinning, guys. A lot of sinning. <laughs> You may have um, even turned somebody else down in order to um, be intimate with this person or to have some sort of situation with this person. If you are involved with somebody, I feel like somebody... Uh, uh, I'm going to be honest. If you are involved with somebody, I feel like you're going to find somebody better suited for you. I don't know. Hopefully after you end the relationship and not while you're in the relationship. This is going to be pretty wild for you. I feel like, Virgo, I feel like there was definitely more than one person in your energy. No matter what your... Um, relationship status is at the moment, okay? Whether you have multiple people or you have nobody and you're sitting here waiting, you are going to turn down people for this person. This is going to be your like, who? holy shit, hot and heavy, gotta, I really need to have this person. Like, I really need to put 100% focus on this person, okay? <clears throat> Okay. 
be careful not to like run yourself ragged over it though because I feel like you might invest so much um, into this situation that you don't have enough time to get done what you need to do or you you lose focus elsewhere just be mindful of that I don't think it's that big of a deal but I do want you to be mindful of it um, else this person is at a distance or you guys will be doing a lot of traveling together one of the other Virgo Sun Moon and Rising I see a lot of growth with this relationship, but I also see a lot of growth with your income in general, Virgo. I think some little project that you started is going to turn into something huge. Whether you work for a company or for yourself, this is this is going to be this is going to start very small and end up much larger than you think. Okay, we do have um, the sun in reverse, though. Why is that? Why is the sun in reverse? I'm seeing peace lilies. I don't know if that resonates with somebody. You're going to hear about somebody. Uh, it could be a very serious illness or a death. Okay. You're going to hear about that. Somebody. Could be an air sign. Somebody I don't, I don't feel like you've been talking to, like in a while at least. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so again, I feel like you may go through some sort of heart hard situation. I am seeing Leo heavily here. I don't know if it's a Leo that this happens to or what, but I do see you going through like a grieving process. Okay. Just to let you know, I don't know if you had some sort of relationship with this person or if they're a family member or friend, but I do see some sort of grieving process. I also see that this new relationship that you have um, coming your way. And again, if you are a Virgo who has absolutely no desire to be in a relationship. This probably isn't your reading because I can't see it as another thing. I can't see it as like work related. I can't. It's just not coming that way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I almost feel like I almost feel like this relationship is going to take to the next level very quickly for you very very quickly for you it's almost even a spiritual connection Virgo here's a time frame for you yes this is like a destined relationship this is crazy because I actually don't typically get like that sort of a message but this with the wheel of fortune I feel like you guys just it just works you know it's just like a it's not going to take a ton of effort for you guys to be together somebody's a huge animal lover here For those of you that are looking to get higher up in a company or um, looking for a new business partner or new investment, something like that, um, I think you may end up in some sort of argument with somebody. I don't want to say, they could be anything from a Sagittarius to a Cancer sign, but um yeah it's a pretty big pretty big situation here what is going on
okay? They might not be in your best interest financially, okay? So maybe else they want too much money or they want to take your position or whatever. I see a huge blowout and I do feel like it's going to go in your favor, okay? Just an FYI. Here is a time frame for that. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Very nice. Very, very nice. There are people that are missing you, Virgo, in the, in the coming months, okay? From now anywhere till spring. There are people that <clears throat> are else holding out hope that you'll return or missing you because you guys haven't spoken in a while. Um... It might even be one of those situations where you guys were blocked and then somebody unblocks just to see if you're okay. Lots of people in your energy here. What is this about? You may get an apology. I think you see this coming anyway. They're coming out as a fire sign. doesn't have to be. You may get an apology from somebody that <clears throat> is probably here on the deck somewhere. It's definitely a situation where they wronged you. I think that they may have emotionally and or physically taken something from you. And I, you knew it was a matter of time that they were going to end up buckling and, and reaching out and apologizing I think you know you knew you saw this coming you you know there's a distance here as well I'm seeing the color salmon guys I don't know why salmon would be relevant but I am when this person comes back by the way to apologize or whatever I do see that there it will be some sort of rejection on your part to them and, um, and anybody who wants to reconcile, I also say you will reject because you are more focused on this new person. Maybe it's a new career as well for some of you versus a person, but I, it's really not coming out that way. Okay. Some of you might be taking dance lessons. That's a weird thing to say. For others of you that are in any sort of judicial situation, um, not only will it work in your favor, but the person that goes after you in any sort of way is going to, it's going to be a lot harder on them than they thought. Okay, it's going to backfire big time for them. So keep that in mind. We're getting a half moon here. As a time frame this does not look like a winter month sort of thing so this could be something that's going to be happening in your future or or I mean it could be currently going on as well get another deck Virgo Sun Moon and Rising Three more cards, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I always say three more cards and I end up telling ten. I don't know why I bother saying that. Like it, like it, like it. Again, there's that Wheel of Fortune. I do really feel like there's something, you know, in, in the works that it, you have no control over and it's just going to really benefit you. It's going to be a really beautiful thing. And there's a lot of healing going on with you as well when it comes to emotions, when it comes to a past heartbreak, when it comes to, you know, feeling like you have no options, when it comes to somebody, you know, burning bridges with you, ultimately was the best thing that could happen to you, ultimately, okay? It's like butterfly effect. One thing happens and then... I don't see anything negative. I Do I see people coming back? Do I see people disturbing your peace? Sure, that's every day for everyone, right? But ultimately, Virgo, I think that you're going to be going into the new year 
much better off. Um, I really feel like it's more Virgo suns, Virgo moons than it is Virgo risings, but take it as it resonates, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean Virgo risings won't see some sort of huge benefit, but for some reason with all these moons and suns, I really feel like it's more the moons and the suns, okay? Hope this helps.